Hi, my name is Roxanne Webster with my home team and Keller Williams, and we are about to do a remote showing for 1075 Ames. So the first room we're walking into from the front door is a living room, and you can see it opens up into a dining room. This is a spacious room. Uh, it's got newer blinds on it, um, and we've got nice flooring that has been installed recently. Uh, this has got a lot of room for family. Uh, when I take a look at, we're now going to um, kind of spin around so you can see the room from the other angle. And from there, that doorway opens up into the kitchen. And now we are entering the dining room. The dining room has a coat closet. We're walking in from the living room. That is a wind, uh, doorway into a bathroom. And here we have got our living room, which again has got a, um, a good space to it. And you can see as we're moving backward how this kind of opens up into the, the living room as well. We've got baseboard heat here. Some of the trim is detached. Uh, um, we, uh, the light in here is really beautiful. Next, we're going to turn and walk down the hallway and take a look at the bathroom. Coming out of the dining room, we take a right into the bathroom. This is a sunny bathroom. It's got tile floors a pedestal sink, which looks great. We've got six panel doors on here that have been replaced recently. And we've also got nice glass block uh, window for privacy when showering. This bathroom looks great. The, ba uh, the shower basin, um, the tile has been replaced in here. And we've got a nice detachable handle on the shower. Most of this house has fresh coat of paint on the inside. The kitchen is going to be finished before we close. So that is our bathroom. Next, I'm walking out of the bathroom and continuing to the right. Here we have a closet, which is pretty spacious. There's room for not uh, quite a bit of, um, it's deep, and it's got some storage shelves up at the top, as well as a place for hanging uh, additional coats or clothing. Now we're continuing down the hall to another living space, which we have been using as the playroom. This is a large space for um, the kids to play. Again, we've got the um, updated flooring, which is a uh, vinyl product. This is the window that looks out to the back. Um, the windows have been updated in here. Most of them have new blinds on them and the ones that don't are on order. So from this room, you can see uh, that points us into the kitchen. Um, so we've got uh, kind of a, a round concept. You walk from the front door into the dining room, into the hallway, into this ch uh, kids area, and then directly into the kitchen, which is where we're going to go next. This room is uh, one of the last on the list to be painted. It's the kitchen, obviously. We've got some... Um, uh, uh, we've got a nice presentable... Um, newer counter, new windows in here. Um, we've got a nice oven there, double gas. There you can see back into the front uh, living room where we started. We've got stainless steel um, refrigerator here. And you see the back door there leads us into a laundry room area. Entering from the kitchen. And going to the right, this is a really big uh, laundry room slash mud room because it, it's got a door that leads out uh, towards the driveway. 
Um, we've got, again, replacement windows in here, um, a security door. And then we're going to head back through the kitchen and take a left back into the, the kids' playroom. And then we're going to lead into a second part of this house. From the kids' playroom, there's a step down into a hallway <coughs> with a door that leads directly into our utility closet where we have a hot water heater and we've got hot water heat for the house, which is a really gentle, nice type of heat. It heats a, a home um, uh, with a nice, um, uh, gentle heat that doesn't push particulates since it's not a gas forced air system. Um, this is a really good system for anybody who might have any asthma or respiratory problems. A good corona feature. We're continuing down the hallway now. This hallway leads upstairs, but we're going to complete, complete the tour of the downstairs first. So next we're stepping into another bedroom which we're going to take two steps down into. This has got um, replacement windows again. This is a really big room. There you can see it leading back into the hallway. There's room in here to have uh, this big king bed and also a couple of, um, dress of uh, dressers sets of drawers. You can see it from this other angle. Hello kitty cat. There we have our closet and this little area might be ideal for um, for a comfortable reading chair or something. Next we're going to turn around and continue into another room. We're coming from this secondary bedroom into this room here. This room is being used currently as an office which I think is a really great use of it. It also has double sliding doors out to the driveway. So if you want to, and it's tucked away around at the back of this house, so if you home office, um, do any of those things, this is going to be a good house for you. I mean, this is going to be a good room for you to do that home office with. So now again, because this is a little bit of winding, I'm going to walk back through this first floor. Starting in the office, we've got a bedroom with a closet, very spacious. Walking through the bedroom, we're going to go up two stairs. We're going to come go past the staircase up and return to that later. We've got our utility closet on the right. Now we're turning left into the kids playroom. And then we're going to turn right into the kitchen. And off of the kitchen to the right is the laundry room with a mud room and pantry. Then we're going back through the living room, our front door, our dining room, bathroom on the right back through the kids room and then we're going to go up those stairs. This house has recently been carpeted. It's in good condition. It's also been cleaned since we've got kids. There are real hardwood floors up here. The product downstairs is laminate. From the top of the stairs we're going to go straight into a bedroom. Coming from the stairs we're coming into this large, these, these are large bedrooms large bedroom. We've got a closet there. Again, the whole house has been equipped with new six panel doors. And next we're going to head out and take a left into the hallway and go into the next bedroom. Actually, we're going left into the bathroom. Woohoo! This bathroom has been nicely retiled in the enclosure. Done a nice job in here. Replacement window. Bathtub is in good condition. We have tile on the floor that looks nice. And then here is our sink and our medicine cabinet. Nice light fixtures. 
Most of the light fixtures throughout the house have been replaced. Now we're going to turn left out of this room and go into the second bedroom up here. Again, this is hardwood floors, electric base, not electric baseboard, heat hot water heat throughout the house, replacement windows. These six panel doors have been put in. This is probably the smallest of all of these bedrooms and there's still plenty of room in here and a closet. Now I'm gonna walk back down the stairs again so we can see from that staircase we've got small bedroom, bathroom, large bedroom. There we've got our electrical service and the exterior of the house has got a small backyard but a large front yard. We've got some nice growth back here. It's really shady and comfortable in the summertime. Right now, look at our little play area. We do back to a business here, but it's quiet. Uh, here we've got the outside. You can see the um, block windows from the bathroom. Right. And then we've got a walkway along the back of the house here. I suspect at some point this was two structures that were connected together. It, it makes sense um, with the way the uh, layout flows inside. Um, but this uh, has been a good area for storage. We've also got a really big storage shed here that we're about to take a look at. This storage shed has got a, a lot of room in it. Um, anything you need for the outside, it's there. We also have a nice um, civilized living area out here uh, with which the kids and the family have spent a lot of time enjoying. Uh, we've got uh, a covered parking spot here that now is being used to house the boat. Woohoo! And we've got flagstone um, uh, patio here with um, a potential fireplace there and a fire pit. I don't think that this is in use right now, um, but the fire pit certainly has seen some use. And then this brings us back to the front of the house. Thank you so much for walking through this property with you. Let us know if you have any questions. This has got a really big front lawn. Here we have the front porch that leads into the living room. There's two doors on the front side of this house. That one that goes into the living room and this second one that goes into the mud room and laundry room. And here's the view of the parking space from the front.